Show me a Quran that has a verse and then show me another Quran that doesn't have that verse. Show me. I told you, it is actually a shame that you are, you are telling us we don't have the Quran from time of Muhammad. We don't have the Quran from time of Abu Bakr. We don't have the Quran from time of Uthman. Why not? Why Muslims were not capable to collect their books? Listen, atheists, we have observable, empirical, testable evidence that proves the manuscripts of the New Testament are corrupt. They have been fabricated, they have been added to, and we can prove that. So why you're challenging the Quran with no evidence, yet you have empirical evidence for what you believe, and yet you still stand on it? Yeah. That's hypocrisy again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my brothers and sisters in humanity Okay, this is a quick intro into the video you're about to see And um, this is a video taken from High Pat Speakers Corner I think it was last year or the year before I think it was last year um, Mashallah, filmed by um, EF Dawa um, And basically what it was well, It was in the park And Lizzie made, was making this claim And the claim was this That the Quran has been changed The Quran has been changed so when I went up to her, I said, what are you talking about? She said, well, the Quran you have today is not the same as the Quran that Muhammad had. Peace and be upon him. And so my response was very simple. Prove it. And at this point is where the video begins. And now I've titled the video The Hypocrisy of Lizzie and Hatun. And see if you can uh, mention in the comments uh, when you spot the first sign of hypocrisy. All right, guys, enjoy the video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. So who says it? Who says it? Said that on film the other day. Said what? Not so much of a dot of it has been changed. What? Yeah. He needs to talk to Mansur about the claims he makes. But so the Quran doesn't say that. So so tell me something extra that's been added to the Quran. Yes, that's probably the one. Right. Show you the changes, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the extra. Do you believe it's been changed? Do I believe anything has added to it? No. It's been changed. I think it's as it was. Okay. Uh, so ask me a question. Yeah. Shows me what Show me something that's been added to the Quran. Anything, yeah. Because we should be worried. I call it. We should be really worried. No, no, show me. No, no, show, show, show me. Show me. I want to show me two Qurans, one with the verse, one without it. Yes. Show me. Do you believe it though? She showed you that. Would you yeah, of course I will. Yes. Show me. Yes. 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 Well, I'd have to believe it, wouldn't I? Can I have the Quran from the time of Muhammad so I can compare? No, no, you claim me the claim. It's the same Quran we have in the Quran Muhammad. No, Muhammad. Same Quran. no, 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 no. You made the claim, so tell me what's been added. Oh, tell me what's been added. Well, you're making the claim here. You know, you're making the claim here. That's the one in your hand. That's the one in your hand. That's the one in your hand. That's that one in your hand. Can I have it? She quoted some verse. How do you know that's been added? I'm not going to explain the Quran to you. I want you to show me a verse in the Quran today that never used to be there. That's all I want you to do. Okay. Yeah. Was the Surah 9, verse 128 and 121, 129 in the Quran? Of okay, listen. I'm asking a very that's simple question. So, just answer the question. No. That's yes and no. You question. just provide your evidence. Just that's yes and no question. You provide your evidence. You made the claim. Support your support your claim. You made the claim. Support it. You made the claim. You made the claim. Support it. Isn't that evidence? prove it to me? Show me. Show me the added verses. Show me. Show me a Quran that has a verse, and then show me another Quran that doesn't have that verse. Show me. Quran only Muslims. Surah 9 verse 100. Show us, show us. Just show me. Stop I quoting. Show me. Physically. Can you show it? Physically. Can you show it? Here's the Madam, madam, Here's can the you show it? Here's the problem. Yeah. Muslims fail to hold down the Quran of Muhammad. Muslims fail to hold down the Quran of Abu Bakr. Muslims fail to hold down the Quran of Abu Bakr. No, you're making the claim. You're making the claim. And you've got the Quran from Abu You're making the claim. Where is your Quran? You're making the claim. I don't have a Quran on you. Prove what you're saying. Can you prove what you're saying? I don't have a 
Can you prove what you're saying? She has a Liz, 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 prove it. Lizzie. Prove what you're saying. Otherwise, it's just subjective what? emotional nonsense. You know what? I can't prove it. Oh, thank you. Hey! Good. Thanks for your honesty. Right. Because I'm afraid you must. So why are you saying it? Why are you saying it? All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, all right. All right. So you can't prove it. You can't prove it. You can't prove it. So why do you believe it? Let's talk to Hatton. You can't prove it. So why do you believe it? You just prove somehow that we've You can't prove it. I'll prove to you the Bible has been changed. How's that? I am. I am. I am. I am. I've defended the Quran. You made a claim about it, and you can't support it. Simple. Claim. You claimed, you claimed the Quran today. You said to me, no, that wasn't the claim. Your claim, no, your claim was the Quran we have today is not the same as one Muhammad had, yeah? So support your claim. Yes, and the only way I can support it is if you produce the Quran. No, you produce it because you've made the claim. I can compare it. Well, you've made the claim. So where have you got, why are you saying it then if you don't have the proof? We say, we say, why are you trying to defend it? Because you're making a claim. No, you've made the claim. You've made a claim. Support your claim with evidence. You can't support it with evidence, as you said. Okay, bring it. Can we go two minutes, two minutes, sir? Good. As you like. Okay, man, can you do two minutes? Okay. Oh, Humour it, innit? Yeah. Is Mansoor about? Yeah. yeah. Get Mansoor. Yes, you anyway, need him. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He did it in last Hamza week. Hamza can't do this all day. He needs his friend. Let's find a friend. I don't claim to have all knowledge. We've done it last week. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, before you start, before you start. No, 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 no. All right, before you start, yeah, 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 yeah. the point start, the claim is this. Liz claimed the Quran we have today, this is Liz's claim, the Quran we have today is not the same as the Quran Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi revealed. This is her claim. So we ask her, support your claim. Hatun is going to talk. Oh, you're not going to, so you can't. Oh, you need Hatun now. Lizzie can't fight her own battles. Lizzie can't fight her own battles. Lizzie can't fight her own battles. You, you mock me for getting Mansoor and you're crying for Hatun. You can't support your own claims. Let's do this. What hypocrisy. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. You start. Let's do this. Who wants to start? You want to start? I'll start. Okay, go for it. Two minutes. Uh, who am I doing this with? With her two, like you said. So not you. Okay. Liz made a claim that she's now past the book, yeah, because she realised she's in sticky, sticky water. Anyway, <laughs> she made a claim, and I think Hatun's going to try and support that. I'm not sure. I think she is. That the Quran we have today is different to the Quran that was revealed to Salah. Right. To Salah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Salah. Oh, prayer time. Is it now? The Quran we have today is not the same as the Quran as revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my simple, humble request was, prove it. Back to you. Okay. Not even two minutes. Not even two minutes? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Prove it. Two minutes. So, Muslims in somehow helping lies for 1400 years. You can try this. The Quran they are reading is exactly the same what Muhammad received. Yet, Sahih Bukhari would disagree with you. According to Sahih Bukhari, we read Muhammad didn't even bother to compile the Quran. According to Sahih Bukhari, Abu Bakr was urged to compile the Quran because people who learned the Quran, they were dying in the battle. And then somehow, when it comes to the 650s, Uthman, this, Uthman was urged to make a one perfect copy of the Quran. 2017, we don't have the Quran from Muhammad, we don't have the Quran from Abu Bakr, we don't have Quran from uh, Uthman. None of the Muslim scholars will tell you we do have them because we don't have them. Even Tayyar al says it's a miracle just we don't know what happened to those Qurans. And as the Quran was compiled, according to Sahih Bukhari, who was living in... Um, for Last week I got you in the government. No, 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 shush. Relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax. 
One minute. Well, last week, no, 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 they couldn't find it, yet they it on the Quran. I I I catch over 8,000 Quran Karim Muzawar from your hand. Is he a Muslim? He's drinking, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, that, that matter, drink on this shit, that matter. Okay. I catch you last time with 8,000 Quran Karim Muzawar. Kul haqiqa, Imam Allah. From to judges, from to Allah. I catch 8,000 Quran Muzawar. You remember that? You are lying. Carry on. And you are still lying. No, Allah al Adi Mani Kadab. 4,000 Quran. Wallah al Adi Mani Kadab. Amazing Islam! I catch 8,000 Quran Muzawar! My friend, they're talking about God and religion. What the f***? Okay. rubbish. Doesn't matter, family, what is that? Last Ray week, Adver. I catch... Strong. Last Fantastic week, Adver. I catch 8,000 Quran Kareem in your people's hand. Video for all of you. I'm, I'm the advert. Don't worry about him. I'm the advert. Don't worry about him. Don't tell me you're drunk the shit. Drunk of the night. Why you do that last week? I catch 8,000 Quran on your hand and not all of them in your hand. Right. Let's, now, do Allah. Let's do maths. Let's do maths. One Quran is approximately 250 grams. Why are you, why, 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 why are you dressing him? Why are you dressing him? How many times? Why are you giving this opportunity? Because I catch it. Well, yes, so, what? It. so what? 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 This is embarrassing. Embarrassing on you, not on me. It's my Quran. Yeah. You shouldn't play one. What does the Quran say about alcohol? That matter. Oh, yeah. Quran never said about any things at all. No? Nothing at all. What is it about Khamar? Nothing at all. About, about al Khamar, he said, Quran Karim said, to make money out she lie. Let her try. I'm the religion. Let her answer. We don't call it job. Okay, listen, let her answer. Take this yeah. nice cup no, of tea. take who? Take you. Not me. No one can take me. Take I'm more English than you. Alright, alright. I'm more English right, than right, you. Alright, 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 alright. All right, all right, all right, all right. You tell me someone take him. Yes, take yes. me where? This is why alcohol is no good for human yeah, 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 yeah. beings. Even a Muslim. Look at the state of this. No, no, no. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, man. Attention. Attention. This is why alcohol is forbidden in Islam. Okay, tell him to bring the Quran Karim. I thousand Quran Karim Muzawar. I don't know what he's saying. All right. Can we continue now? All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, you win, you win, you win. Last Fantastic. No, I'm not winner. What are you then? I'm not winner. All right, can you be quiet I'm then? I'm not loser. Can you be quiet then? You're both Quran Can you be quiet? Please. The main, yeah. and all right, on all right. Twice. Can you be quiet? Please. Let's go. They did with each other. Well, you want me to start? Oh, you're going to start again? Oh, we need to start again. Okay, I finished my point. All right, okay. I can, I can summarize my questions when I ask. From your standpoint, otherwise... Well, you didn't answer my question, so you have to stick to my question first. Okay. Hatun. She went all around the houses. I asked a very simple question. She made a claim that the Quran today is different to the one that Muhammad revealed. I asked for evidence. 
There is no evidence. She hasn't. She she admitted she doesn't have Muhammad's Quran. Yeah. Happened. This was her claim. This is her whole. This is a whole flag in the ground here. She has no original to compare it to. So my question is very simple. We can do the same to the Bible. Yeah. We can take their manuscripts and we can compare them and we'll show you the differences. We'll show you the corruptions. We'll show you the fabrications. So when we make the claim that the Bible's been fabricated and corrupted, we support it with empirical, observable, testable evidence. Now. She brought the claim with regards to the Quran, trying to, oh, if the if the Quran the Bible's like that, the Quran must be. Unfortunately, no, it's not. Because we don't rely on manuscripts yet. We have people today who memorize the Quran from the time of Muhammad. Now, let's just understand what would happen if this change would occur that she's claiming. Islam spread from Morocco to China. Now, if one person in Morocco changed the Quran and started reciting differently, started adding something differently. We would have two Qurans today. You could produce that Quran from Morocco with this verse, and we bring a Quran from China, one from Sweden, one from Mongolia, one from the US, and one from good old Blighty. And we'll compare them, and we'll see the differences. You would have to go to the Hafiz of all of these places and tell them to change it at the same point. But we don't see that. And corruption by nature spreads. It doesn't go back on itself. So if the Quran was corrupted from the beginning, we should see the fruits of it now. We should have Quran saying this here, Quran saying that there. Just like we see with the Bible. Now that is what evidence of true corruption is. Done? Done? We've got 20 more seconds. 20 seconds? Done? Yeah, I'm done. Whose is this? <laughs> It is actually shame that you are com you are telling us we don't have the Quran from time of Muhammad. We don't have the Quran from time of Abu Bakr. We don't have the Quran from time of Uthman. Why not? Why Muslims were not capable to collect their books? Muslims have been in the power since Muhammad. Where is your Quran? Why don't you have them? Why don't you have them? That's a very good question to answer, sir. And yet you say today, if you travel to can uh, Morocco, to different countries, everyone is reciting the same Quran. That's not correct. That wasn't the case in the time of Muhammad, and that is not the case in the time of 2017. In time of Muhammad, people had a disagreement regarding the Surah 25, and they were reciting the two different Qurans. It is the same, another surah which caused Ubay bin Qab to have doubt in his faith. Thanks to Muhammad, man of the peace, just strikes Ubay bin Qab in his chest and suddenly Ubay bin Qab decides to follow Muhammad. That was, that's just amazing. So, can you please just tell me, what is your reasons? In 2017, you don't have the Quran from the time of Muhammad, you don't have the Quran from the time of Abu Bakr, which Abu Bakr compiled. You don't have the Quran from the Uthman. Why don't you have them? Can you please tell me you failed to answer my question previously? Surah 9 verse 128, 129, Surah 33 verse 23. Were they in the Quran of Muhammad? Were they in the Quran of Abu Bakr? Where are those ayats, sir? Also, can you just tell me, I am amazed that you are attacking the Bible, because the Bible as a Christian, I am talking about my very, my, my many Oh my God, you know why you took rubbish? Back to your Bible. What do you want for Quran? Okay. Hatun again, she's verified for us. Thank you very much, Hatun. That she doesn't have a Quran that she compares to today's Quran as a manuscript form. So she has no evidence to support what she's saying. Yeah, this you. is her claims. Yeah, okay. You. Now she thinks she can read the Quran and quote me verses as if I'm Jazaki and I can know all these verses she's talking about. I've no idea what she's talking about. What I can say with a without a shadow of a doubt, whatever is in the Quran today is in the same what Muhammad Sassan revealed 1400 years ago. And if you want to challenge that, 
produce your evidence because the burden of proof is on the claimant. Okay? Thank you. I have no issue with that. As for this memorization, we're talking about, oh, go to Morocco, go to China. I challenge you, go to Morocco. Find me someone reading Surah Fadha with an extra verse. Find me someone reading Surah Al Baqarah with a less verse. I, prove, I challenge you. Yeah? We're not talking about variations in styles of recitation. We're not talking in Kirat. We're not talking Aruf. We're talking about corruption adding changing verses. Yeah? You've made the claim. Your claim is this, and we'll go back to the original claim. The Quran today is not the same as what Muhammad revealed, yet you have no way to verify that. It's nothing more than your subjective opinion. And of course it supports your biased opinion of what you believe. Because you don't like what the Quran says. Because it challenges what you believe. The lies you've been spun. And we know that you, you believe is based on fabrications. I'll say it again to you. We have empirical, listen atheists, we have observable, empirical, testable evidence that proves the manuscripts of the New Testament are corrupt. They have been fabricated, they have been added to, and we can prove that. So why you're challenging the Quran with no evidence, yet you have empirical evidence for what you believe, and yet you still stand on it? Yeah. That's hypocrisy again. Okay. 20 more seconds. I like the 20 minutes, 70-second silence. Let it resonate. <laughs> Think about it, contemplate, reflect. Take a break. Come on, Hatul. So you got no evidence. I am amazed. I am amazed. No answer. No answer. Did Muhammad recite Surah 9 verse 128 and 129? A Muslim missionary tells me I don't know that. What? That is very, very, very simple thing comes from how the Quran is compiled. Yet Muslim missionaries tell me I cannot recall them from my mind. Whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, I'm not gonna respect the two minutes. Don't misrepresent what I said. Don't misrepresent what I said. Don't misquote me. I said this. Everything in the Quran today was what Muhammad says and revealed. Don't misquote me. I didn't say I don't know. I said it is. Don't lie about me. Or I will disrupt your two minutes. Continue. Why are you pointing at me? You're debating. No objection. Order. No objection at all. Okay, don't mis don't misquote me. Don't lie about me. Thank you. So my questions have not been answered. Surah 9 verse 128. Surah 9 verse 129. I answered you. I said yes. Surah 23 verse 23. Why those surahs were edited in the Quran later? Those ayats edited in the Quran later according to Sahih Bukhari 6, 509, 510. So, since, since you didn't even touch what happened, what happened regarding the Surah 25 and which Surah 25 is the correct version, let me show you some different Qurans. When you just, you yes, don't even know, Quran. you don't even need to go to China. Just go to the Middle Plus East. Me. Just go to the Quran. Middle East. And it is shame to Muslims that they don't even have their earliest manuscripts. I give up on the Muhammad, I give up on the Abu Bakr, not even Uthmanic manuscripts. Here is one of the Quran. It is Al Susi's Quran, which is different from the Hafs Quran you are reading, sir. I would love to know if you can tell me why did you why are you reciting the Hafs Quran? What, why do you think Hafs Quran is reliable? Here is another Quran. This is the Abu Jafar's Quran. Ready? Okay. As interrupted, apologies for interrupting, but I cannot stand it when people lie about me. All right, I said whatever's in the Quran today was revealed by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you want to challenge that, produce your evidence. Keep quoting Bukhari, Bukhari, Bukhari. First thing I understand about Bukhari, it's only 95% correct. Yeah? We don't say it's 100% perfect. Yeah? No one's made that claim here yet. You seem to be standing on it. All right. First of all, elaborate on what you're saying. Don't tell me um, verse 923, today's 924, why is that there? Tell me the verses you're referring to. Yeah? And tell me how you know they're missing from the previous Quran. And this thing you just quoted here, yeah? Show me the extra verses added in the, the Quran that's not in the other Quran. 
Yeah. Just show me the verses. All of us from day one, from the beginning of this conversation, produce your proof. You brought this book out, this beautifully compiled file. You opened it up as if we're all bamboozled with have some worse. Yeah? Show me the difference. You're lying. I'm lying. Why didn't you show me the half cent watch? What did you show me? You didn't even what did you show me? You didn't I didn't have a clue what you were doing. Because I had nothing to do with my question. I asked you to do me one thing. Show me the verses that have been added. You're saying Bukhari says a verse has been added. Yeah? Which verse has been added? I say you've misunderstood hadith and the Qur'an because you're not an expert on either <laughs> Bukhari is dealing with Hadith and Qur'an So, a Muslim at speaker's corner, a Muslim missionary makes a claim they don't trust the Sahih Bukhari I am a Muslim I didn't say that I didn't say that I didn't say that Don't misquote me again I said we do not believe as Muslim No Muslim here No Muslim believes Sahih Bukhari Well, I have to Stop lying about me I'll interrupt when you when lie. Comes to your time, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my time refuting lies. All right. I'm not gonna waste my time refuting lies. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste my time refuting your lies. Didn't you say? Didn't you say? Ninety-five percent of the Sahih Bukhari is reliable. I'll tell you exactly what I said. Ninety percent. All right. I'll make it easy for you. No Muslim here. Not one of them. Not one of them believes. Listen. Yes. But you're lying about me. You're lying about me. The clock is stopped. No. No. I'm not gonna waste. You have to wait. I'm not gonna waste. Waste my time refuting lies. No, I'm not. No. No. Unfortunately, no. No. If you continue like no, 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 no. I am not gonna stand here and waste my talk refuting lies she says each time. No. You lie about me, I'm stopping you. Alright? Khalas. Alright, alright. Here's what I said to you. No Muslim here. Any Muslim here think Sahih Bukhari is 100 percent reliable. You did not say that. Not one Muslim. Right. So what did I say? 95%, yes? Who agrees with me that Sahih Bukhari is 95%? We. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? That's what we believe, right? So, understand that point. I never said, I never said I don't trust Bukhari. So don't make lies about me, please. Continue. Here's the thing. I'll speak my two minutes. You wait. Yes. I will not wait if you lie. I will not, I will not wait if you lie about me. This is not a shop. I will not wait if you lie about me. I don't care. Madam, madam, I won't care. I will not wait. Madam, 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 madam. I will not respect the time if you lie about me. Understand that principle. It's a very simple principle. Why should I waste my time refuting her lies? Why am I going to waste my time refuting her lies? Then she say, oh, you didn't answer my question. Scared. And who are you? Very scared. You're scared. Very You're the one hiding behind the camera. Yeah, the You're, the the camera. You're the one hiding behind the camera. You're the one hiding behind the camera. You look ridiculous. I'll tell you what, you can come next. You can come next. You can tell us why the Bible's reliable, yeah? You can tell me why I lie. It's not the same symbol of the Bible or not. He's calm down. He's calm down. Calm down. He's calm down. He's calm down. He doesn't accept the fact that he's lying on his mouth. Sahih Bukhari. Yes. It is called Sahih. It is called Sahih. What does that mean? As Sahih Bukhari compiled that, he already discredited 99% of what he collected. And then he kept, kept on 7,295 of them. If Muslim missionaries don't even know how the Quran compiled and then takes this, oh, we, we don't trust the 5% of it, we trust only 95% of it. I would love you to tell me what is it makes you that you do not trust Sahih Bukhari, volume 6, 509, 510. Just respond to that and then I'll continue, sir. Well, tell me what they are. You don't that, even know quiet. what is Sahih Bukhari 510 and 509. No, tell me. Can you stop the clock and then I read it for him? Okay. Sahih Bukhari 509, 510. Let's read it. Narrate it, Zayed bin Tabit. Which, which verse is it, Sorry. Abu Bakr, give me, give me if you saw the sent for me, when the people of Yamama had been killed, right. a number of the Prophet's companions who fought against Musalima. I went to him right. and find... So I know, not, I know what nonsense it is. Sitting with him, Abu Bakr then said to me, Umar has came to me and said, casualties were heavy among the Qura of the Quran. Those who need the Quran by heart. On the day of the Battle of Yamama, and then I am afraid that more heavily casualties 
may take to, pe, take place I don't need among it. the Qura on the other battlefield, whereby a large part of the Quran may be lost. Large part of the Quran may be lost. Therefore, I suggest to you, Abu Bakr, order that the Quran to be collected. I say to Umar, how can you do something which Allah's apostle did not do? How can you do something which Allah's apostle do not did not do? They spoke English, did they? And Umar. <laughs> By Allah, this is good project. Umar kept urging me to accept his proposal until Allah opened my chest for it. And I began to realize that good in the idea which Umar had really realized. Then Abu Bakr said to me, you are a wise young man and who do not have any suspicion among you. You used to write the divine inspiration, Allah's apostle. So, you should search for it, the fragments of the secrets of the Quran, and collect it in one book by Allah. If they had ordered me to switch one of the mountains, it would not have been heavier for me than this ordering, to, ordering me to collect the Quran. Then I said to Abu Bakr, how will you do something Allah's apostle did not do? Oh. How will you do something Allah's apostles did not do? Oh. Oh. Wrong. Oh. Not true. Abu Wrong. Abu Bakr replied, Wrong. by Allah, it is a good Wrong. project. Uncle, they calling you. Abu Bakr no, no. kept on urging Wrong. me to accept this idea until Allah... No, no, what's stop, 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 stop. Now you're just reading another hadith about the same thing. You're repeating it. You're repeating yourself. No, you're repeating it, though. You're repeating Sahih Bukhari is repeating. Uh, uh, Abu Bakr kept on urging me accept this idea until Allah opened my know, chest know, for Abu Bakr never he had opened the chest of Abu Bakr. Alright, we get the idea. We get the idea. Alright, so, 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 we get the idea. So how do you understand that? Alright, how do we get the idea? Skulls, tin, white stones and also from the man who knew it by heart. Until I find the last verse of Surah Toba, Surah 9, with the Abu Kuzaman. I did not find it with anybody than him. I did not find those two verses beside him. It was only he who knew that. And then when you come to the next hadith, 5 on 10, you see... Oh, you're not reading again. You see... No, we've had enough. We've had enough. We get the, the viewers can only take so much. No, 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 no. We get the gist. So how do you understand that? So, so, so you will tell me how you understand that. So, since I just made you to be familiar with the, your Sahih Bukhari hadith, no, I know the hadith. I know you're referring to. It. And I would love you to. I would love you to tell me. Sis, I want you. To, it's my turn. It's my turn. You had your turn. No, sir. Yes, you did. No, sir. You asked your question. No, yes, you did. Yes, she did. It's my turn. No, no. You stepped in. Liz, she had her time. She said, answer my question. Then she read the Bukhari. Now she's preaching again. No, you stepped in when I was. No, you finished. You said, answer my question. No, you stepped in when I. I didn't step in. You invited me in. You. You said answer my question. Yeah. About uh, Bukhari, da 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 da. So I'm answering your question. You stop there, you back to zero. I would love to know. Thank you very much. I would love to know where does this Surah 9, verse 128 and 129 come from? Where does Surah 33, verse 23 come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. So tell and me how also, you. Also, I would love you to give me what is your criteria that you are discrediting the hadith, Sahih Bukhari, 5%. Alhamdulillah. Okay. First of all, how do you understand that? I just, I'll, I'll let her do that. How do you understand it's that? It's your two minutes. When it's finished, it's my turn. All right, all right. It's Evidently, if that's your proof, then you clearly don't, you have no clue. All right. First thing, the hadith is talking about the Quran and about the, the, the Hafiz dying. Okay, yeah. that's just fine. Alhamdulillah. Now, if the verse is in the Quran 
And there was a criterion that Abu Bakr had, was that two people who'd memorized it and two people who'd written it down, yeah, come together, then it would be put in the Qur'an. If, it, if they didn't have those witnesses, it wouldn't be in the Qur'an. If it's in the Qur'an, alhamdulillah, the witnesses. Now this is just one man talking, I didn't find this. It's not every Sahaba, it's not everybody, it's just one person who he didn't know, yeah? And I'll say it again, the whole principle of this conversation is what? That Liz made the initial claim that the Qur'an we have today is not the same as the Qur'an that Muhammad Sallallahu revealed. Hatunas come with a complete red herring trying to make a claim that, oh, there were some people struggling to find verses of the Qur'an. Where do they come from? The clue is in the Hadith. Clearly, Hafiz did know it and therefore it passed the criteria and therefore it's in the Qur'an. I don't even understand why you're wasting my time reading the whole Hadith. SubhanAllah What do you think the Hadith proved? All it proved was the fact that, yes, there was a commission for the Qur'an to be called together and some of the conditions was two people who've memorized it. Yeah, two people who've memorized it and who've written it down. Yeah? If it's in the Qur'an today, then it was in the Qur'an then. I do not see how this supports your position, which you've accepted you have no evidence for. This is your reason, Bukhari, which doesn't support you. It's actually against you. Because you're assuming only one person back then had information on new people. Yeah? And you're trying to make this and grow it in. Now you said I lied about the Bible manuscripts. I didn't lie. I don't. This is not a belief. This is not subjective. I can bring you proof. I can bring you two manuscripts okay, and show you the differences. So you have not responded to me. Where this Surah 9 verse 128 and 129 comes from? I just did. Where Surah 33 verse 22 3 comes from? Are those verses from Muhammad recited? Are those are the which Muhammad recited? He, yeah, I've got the he same says, problem yeah, yeah, yeah. for Surah 1. I've got the same problem yeah, for the Surah 1. We're back to the Pope of Roma. Sorry, we asked the Pope of Roma. Pope of Roma. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Take the Bible and put it in the Quran. Why should you talk about Abu Bakr, about Umar, about Ali? I have to talk about the Papa of Roma, the Papa of Egypt. Go outside to the Christianity, then it's true. Will somebody go take back. a nice coffee? No, of course I got right. Thank you. Why should you talk about Umar? Hey? Where the Umar? Hey? Why should you talk about Papa of Roma? Where the Papa of Roma? Fantica, you can do the real Bible outside. You cannot die. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, Uncle. Okay. Yet, tell them how Umar and Muhammad are not going to die. My question still stands. Surah 9 verse 128, Surah 9 verse 129, Surah 33 verse 23. Also, I would love to know who was the one who made a decision that Surah Fatiha is the part of the Quran. Who is the one who made a decision that Surah 115 and 116 is not part of the Quran? And I would love, I would love also you to explain it to me. What is happening in certain? Um, let me just read a couple of hadiths. Ubay's let's just expose her red herrings has been rejected. And I would like this is Jay Smith's successor. So it's my turn. Why Muslims are not able to stand still and just answer the questions? I am amazed what Islam does to people, disrespectful Muslims. That's I guess what your prophet is told you. So I ask you a question. What is it that five percent of the Sahih Bukhari is not reliable? What is your criteria for that? I ask you, why today you use the half Quran? Okay? You have not responded to any of my question. Here is the Asusi's Quran. This is the, just the first page. And I'm gonna give you some examples and I would love you to give I would love you to back that up. Please explain it to me. Surah 1, Surah 115 and 116 as well. Uh, all right.
So she's scrapping around in the dark, right? She knows she has no proof. So now she's throwing out straw men left, right and centre. She's doing the classic shotgun strategy. She's trying to hit me with so many things that I can't answer them all. And it looked like, she'll, then she'll say, see, he didn't answer my question. Yeah, that's how she does it. She tries to hit you with so many. Anyway, let me try and address most of it. Okay, so the Fatiha. What's that got to do with whether or not it was in the original Quran or not? Who, who decided it or not? I don't understand that. Second thing, Surat al Nas, Surat al Falak, because she's referring to 115, 116. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said himself in Sahih Bukhari that two of the greatest verses of the Quran is Surat al Nas, Surat al Falak. So there, there's your evidence for that. Um, what was your other nonsense? Um, God, you suck so much nonsense, I can't remember it. Um, oh, Hask Quran, I don't know what you're going on about. Let me know what you're talking about. Again, I just want to go back to the original point that I asked Liz, and she went running to you. Where's these differences? Show me the differences. Show me the extra verses. Show me what you think has been added. Show me what's been changed. Like, I'll show you. I'll show you how the story of the adulterous woman was added to Bible manuscripts in John's name as forgery. I'll show you how Acts 8.37 was added. I'll show you the forgery. I can show you. I've got empirical, observable, testable evidence. And here's the hypocrisy list and Hatun. You stand there scrabbling in the dark, trying to understand the Hadith, trying to make them support your view. Yet you have blatantly ignoring explicit evidence that proves your Bible is corrupt. It proves it without a shadow of a doubt. You don't have an original. Your oldest is 4th century. We know from the 4th century to the 6th century it's been corrupted. We know from the 6th century to the 16th century it was corrupted. So what happened between the 1st and the 4th we don't know. But what we do know is it's happening. Now I ask you, show me in the Quran where it's been changed. Show me the addition. Show me the added verse. Don't ask me who decided to put Surah Fatiha in it. Oh, why is Surah Al Nasr of the Falak? And this Sahaba said that shouldn't be in there. Another Sahaba said it should. That's got nothing to do. Complete straw men, complete red herrings. Yeah? You can't provide evidence, okay, so you're scrabbling in the dark. Let me just respond to the Bible. Today, you can tell me John chapter 8 shouldn't be there. Because my Bible tells you, man, because you should be thankful to my Christian scholars who puts together 5,839 Greek manuscripts from the 128, 129 AD for you to see them. I can go to the bookshop, buy a Bible which tells me what are the verse, what are the, um, with the critical editions, what are those variations. But here is the Quran. <laughs> Can you show me where is in this Quran stunning adultery verses? Please, please to check it and show it to me because according to Islamic tradition, this verse should be in the Quran, yet it is not in the Quran. Where is that verse? I would love you to tell me, according to Sahih, uh, but Sahih Bukhari, where is this Rajam verses, stunning verses? I would love you to tell me where is the 213 verses of, of the chapter 33? Where are those verses? Still, you fail to tell me. Where, where did you get the Surah 9, verse 128 and 129? You fail to tell me where did you get the Surah 33, verse 23? You fail to tell me, even though Muhammad said Surah Fatih is the most, most important Surah. No, Falak and Nas, Falak and Nas. Yet, don't misquote me. Yet, yet, people don't misquote in the me. did not take the Surah Fatiha, did not take the Surah 114, sorry, 115 and 116 as part of, as part of their scripture. So, I, would, I am just simply asking, who are the ones who make a judgment on that after Muhammad is already end up dead? Who are those people? Your tradition, your Sahih Bukhari, 95% reliability of the Sahih Bukhari according to you. Okay. She keeps saying I didn't answer. I'm going to do it again. If the verse is in the Quran and it's from Muhammad, if you want to challenge that claim, produce another Quran like it. The Quran as it is today. Now, if you want to claim about the verses of Rajab, show me a Quran with the verses in it and then show me the Quran without it. Show me. You can't. Now, you make this claim about the manuscripts in the Bible. Oh, we're honest. We show you. You didn't know until the end of the 19th century. Up until the 19th century, you thought John 8 was the word of God. Now, you know it isn't, right? You only because you discover the code of Sinaiticus that exposed 
exposed you. It's not like you've been honest, you've been exposed. Don't you get that? It's not like you've been, oh, well, you know, we're going to be truthful with you. No, you were exposed. The Bible needed to be revised. Because why? Because it contains fabrication, which is not the word of God. Now, my question to you is, what's been, how can you claim that from the first century to the fourth century, it also wasn't corrupted? How can you make that claim when we know it is being corrupted? You can't, because you don't have a manuscript earlier than the fourth century, a complete manuscript. So don't act like I'm lying about your manuscripts yet. Don't act like you're being all honest Christians. No, you would expose. And guess what? The King James Bible still lies. It ignores your oldest manuscripts. It still claims John 8 happened. It still claims Acts 8, 37 happened. Believe it or not, it still believes the forgery of the 16th century, John 1, 5, 7, there are three who bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They even believe that's the word of God. That's the lie. That's the corruption. And you stand on this. So you're hypocrites. Because if you want to challenge the Quran because you can't understand this hadith and you think this hadith means this, understand one thing about hadith. We can prove through hadith that some Sahaba thought some uh, things were Quran when they weren't. Yeah, and they made mistakes. We know that. Because why? Because we know what the Quran is. And when they thought that, they realized it wasn't. Yeah, so we can prove that as well. Yeah? And I'll say it again to you, Liz. You made the claim. You've got no evidence to support your claim. Your reasons are flawed. The hadith you're quoting don't support what you're saying. Yeah? No, because it was your claim, Liz. I'm not in your hide behind a skirt. I'm not talking to you, Liz. You made the claim. Hatun's trying to support you miserably, but you made the claim. Okay. Don't make claims it's you can't support. I don't think your backup can support it because you didn't. It's my turn. So, Let's wrap it up. So, no Quran from the time of Muhammad. No Quran from the time of Abu Bakr. No Quran from the time of Uthman. From 125 AD to, to 2006, 2017. I have got as a Christian 5839 Greek manuscripts which confirms my Christian doctrine. Oh, of course. And before, before that, I have got a Muslim holy book confirms, Quran came to confirm the previous books. <laughs> Allah doesn't know, maybe John chapter Here comes the shotgun. Part of the, part of the Quran. Sadly, Allah doesn't know. One John chapter 5, one verse is not part of the Quran. Allah says, Christian says nothing else to stand unless they've got the gospel. So, when you look at the Islamic tradition, Islamic tradition tells us, and you fail to tell me, where is your verse, where is your Quran which talks about the stunning verses? Islamic tradition tells me it only word of Allah was eaten by a sheep. Islamic tradition tells me Allah was not even capable to protect his eternal word from an animal. Oh. Tradition, Islamic tradition tells me, Islamic tradition tells me, actually, we don't have the Quran, perfect Quran from Muhammad because he didn't even bother to compile the Quran. The Quran we've got today, there are 26 different Arabic Qurans out there. It contains 45,339 variations. Let me show you some of the variations because my dear Muslim friends don't even know. I would love you to first of all explain me what, what's happening in Surah 2 verse 118. Time. We don't know. Anyway, okay. So Hatun again is scrambling around. She did so many shotgun uh, tactics again. Uh, she made this uh, strawman argument that the, the Quran confirms the Bible and the gospel. She's not even listening, brother. It doesn't matter. The camera's sorry, listening. We play the man, not the ball. Sorry, play the ball, not the man. All right. We, we, we deal with the stupid arguments, not the person. All right. We, we, they can't help it. All right. Anyway, please don't distract me. I'm trying to finish this off. All right. I'm trying to think of the nonsense she said again. Just one second. Yeah, one second. I've got, I've got to recollect because she shotgun me, you see. One second. Uh, oh, yes. Eating the goat. All right. She's talking about this nonsense about a goat eating the Quran. She clearly doesn't understand that the Quran was memorized. So if a goat can eat as many uh, pages of the Quran, like people memorize, they don't forget. They're not in Tarawi and all of a sudden, oh, the goat says a page. Oh, we forgot the verse. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. The Quran didn't need to be compiled as a book in the time of Muhammad because he was there revealing it. And the people were memorizing 
again. It was only afterwards it needed to be because of the different recitations and such and the different and the way Islam spread. Um, what else is there? Your stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. Your uh, your New Testament your doctrines. Yeah. Show me anywhere in the Bible the doctrine of Trinity, please. Show me anywhere. Show me any manuscript that says God is uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and co-equal distinct beings. Show me anywhere your scripture supports your doctrine. Show me anywhere where Jesus said He died for your sins. Show me anywhere. Yeah, show me original sin anywhere in your scripture taught by Jesus. Show me. Yeah, show me this. Stuff. Show me where the Holy Spirit is God, equal to God. Show me. You can't. Don't say the script manuscripts support your doctrine. They don't. Back to you. Thank you. No, that's it. That's it. No, that's it. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. There is no answer to my question. That's it. Your question was answered. Even though she. We're going on again. We're going on now. We're going on again now. Are we? Are we going to continue? Just one minute. Well, that was a wrap up, but you're continuing. No, it wasn't wrap up, sir. Uh, the moderator said it was. Yes. Yes, she got a statement. Was it wrapped it up? She got a statement. That was her statement. Last statement now? You are submissive. Well, that was the last statement. Oh, you have submissive. Let's go. All right. If Quran has been eaten by the God, yet people memorized it, why it's not here, man? Why it's not here? It is memor memorized. Why it is not memory. in the written of the Quran? How many Muslims today recite that passage? My questions were standing today. <coughs> you cannot tell me you've got the Quran from the time of Muhammad. You, you are memorizing the Quran, but Allah revealed to Muhammad because that's a big lie. Muhammad didn't didn't even remember the Quran. Muhammad didn't even compile the Quran. Abu Bakr didn't have. You don't have the Quran from Abu Bakr. You don't have the Quran from Uthman. And you didn't. Fa you failed to answer my question. Who was the one made the decision that Surah Fatiha, Surah 140, 115, and 116 is part of the Quran? Who is the one who makes a de decision that Surah 9, verse 129 and 128, Surah 33? Verse 23 was the part of the revelation Muhammad received. According to Islamic tradition, no, it's all full mess. Today, there are 45,339 variations in 26 Qurans, and they are pretty messed, pretty messed up. An example? There are lots of examples. Let me give you some examples, sir. Surah 98, verse 6. Creatures versus innocent. Creatures versus innocent. That's the first example. Let me give you more examples. Yes, please. Since I've got 45,399, I should be able to give you more references. Give you one more, one more, uh, Sadhu. One more, one more difference. 15 seconds. All right, here we go again. She said I didn't answer. Watch the video. I did answer. I answered completely with regard. First of all, I said Fatih has a red herring. What's that got to do with whether the Quran was changed or not? Uh, then, she's, then she's claiming uh, that Abu Bakr, we don't have Uthman. Here's my question to you. What's the Quran we have today? Where did it come from? And if it, I've told you before, the, the nature of corruption, it spreads. So what Hatun trying to claim is the Quran we have today wasn't compiled in the time of Muhammad. So what were they reading then? What was recited in Tarawi then? What was in Ramadan? What were they saying? Uh, okay, what were they saying? Okay, what should see you see? Because we know today we have people, it's my time, is it? Have some respect. Christians, have some respect, please. Christians, have some respect, please. Christians, have some respect, please. Have some respect, please. I didn't interrupt her a speech. No, no, the fruit cake. All right. Okay. So we have to ask this question: What were they reciting in Ramadan? What were they reciting in Tarawi? What was it when they prayed their salah? What was it? Because if it was something different to what we today, see, the Quran has been memorized from people today. We have people today who've memorized it from their fathers, who memorize it from their fathers, who memorize it from their fathers, all the way back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad We don't have this issue. So therefore, we'd see the changes. We'd see a different Quran. Nature by corruption spreads. So, sorry, corruption by nature spreads. So if it started off corrupt, as Hatun claims, today we should see results of that corruption. So where are these 26 different Qurans today? 
Today, where, where is the extra verses? Where are the extra verses? It's my time, it's not your time. It's not your time. All right. So, where are these extra verses? We should find them. My initial claim to, sorry, my initial response to Liz was, produce your evidence. Produce your evidence. Prove to us the Quran has added verses. She can't. Now again, I'm going to call them hypocrites to their face. You're a hypocrite and you're a hypocrite. Because if you're so concerned about manuscripts being corrupted, why are you ignoring your explicit corrupted Bible? Why are you ex ignoring that? If you're so if you so care so much about the preservation of manuscripts, why do you ignore the explicit corruption and fabrication found in your manuscripts, exposed by the later manuscripts which you discovered? Yeah? Why do you ignore that? Because you're both hypocrites. Thank you, Hamza. Oh, for that. Examples. Thank you. Check it out. Let's do a wrap up. You do your wrap up, I'll do my wrap up. I must use honest. Okay, the initial claim, the initial claim. Just tell people you don't have any recitation from Obama. They'll judge for themselves, they'll judge for themselves. They'll judge for themselves, they'll judge for themselves. Okay. One second, one second. Sunday, I will break right. it, excuse me, I will break it 25 of Bible. Inshallah. Okay, listen. And excuse me, and I show you all the Bible, I will be Christian, all right. told me which one the really one. Okay, this is a standard argument that Hatun and Liz like to come with. Mansoor rinsed them last time on it. I don't know why she's come with the same nonsense. This shows the dishonesty and the, dis uh, the disingenuous nature of the Christians, yeah? They don't want to know the truth, they just want to try and put doubt in people's minds. What's that? What's that? Which one do you want? I want to be Christian, sorry. All right. Which right. I got the, the one second, one second. Which one I want to be? All right. So I two made all these claims using hadith supporting her. Which one do you all I asked was a simple question. You make a claim about the Quran, it's not the same as was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prove it. Produce your evidence. Show me two Quran. Show me the difference. Show me the added verses. Show me what was deleted. Show me. They had nothing. Then they started scrabbling for their reasons to believe now. Because it's just a belief. They believe this to be true without evidence. So without the evidence, we look for their reasons. They bring this hadith. Because uh, we, we, we Abu Bakr is saying go compile the Quran and say, what do they think that proves? She asked me, where did this verse come from? Where did that verse come from? Well, of course, where did Abu Bakr said the verses would come from? From the Hafiz. So if we find it in the Quran, then of course there was Hafiz. Why? Because the condition for the Quran was what? Huh? Sorry? We don't need to know. No, the Hafiz are obviously the memorizers of the Quran. And uh, two of the conditions is what? Two memorizers of the verse and two who had written the verse down. Because verses were recorded when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said it. So if the verses are in the Quran today, then those criteria were met. So it's just nothing more than a red herring. And she hopes she can try and confuse and... But here's the thing. They're hypocrites. Why? If they think that the Quran is corrupt because of this mishmash that they're trying to call, then why do they ignore the explicit corruption of their manuscripts in their Bible? Why? If they're honest people, they should reject the Bible for the conditions they claim to reject the Quran. They shouldn't embrace a corrupt book, which has been proven to be a corrupt book, over a book that they think is corrupt. Look at the difference. Think it's corrupt, proven to be corrupt, and they stand on the corrupt book, and they preach the corrupt message from that corrupt book. Subhanallah, this is hypocrisy. This is hypocrisy in the park. This is J. Smith's students. This is the poison. This is the poison they've been taught. They're nothing more than hate preachers. They lie and they twist, but they don't get away with it. Not when there's knowledgeable brothers like here. Like I say to you, I'm not an expert on this, but watch the video between Hatun and Mansoor, and you'll, you'll ask yourself this question. Why was she repeating the nonsense again when it's already been refuted?